Hello from Greta. Hope everyone's well. I've had, uh, I've been hard at it. Busy storing, harvesting, just cleaning up. I'm a mess. The house is a mess. Garden's a bit of a mess still. Working on it. So I just uh, put a mishmash together to show you uh, what I've been at this weekend. As the onions dry, I take my time and braid them. Usually an evening job. I've also completed bunching my garlic. I've chosen the bulbs that I will be using to uh, plant this year for my own garlic uh, for next season. Can't believe it's here already. I think, I, hopefully I'll get to it next weekend. I've chosen 38 bulbs so far. May add to it. Storage continues in the freezer. That's celery and beans and, and broad beans and apples now. I continue to dry my uh, seeds, my, my peas and my broad beans, and then beans uh, for actual cooking dried. And got out the last of my potatoes. That's great. I had nettles in there and the roots, I had no idea how crazy nettle roots are. And I got all my tomatoes out, they are green, I will show you those, is what it is. I must say for lunch I roasted some of the green tomatoes with uh, roasted vegetables and they were terrific. The debris everywhere from my harvests, uh, carrots and leeks and parsnips were kind of a focus. I still have a bit in there, maybe some piddly ones too. Cleaned out the bean beds, completely cleared. I will be adding manure, and uh, actually I picked up kelp from the sea also, so I'll see what I can divvy up there. The biggest, biggest win-win for me was to pull my squash. Sad as they are, I'm like the proudest mother ever to get the few tiny, tiny squash that I received. Tore out all the broad bean plants because I have to get my garlic bed ready. I think it's going to go there. And I have all of my potatoes harvested, which is a good feeling <laughs> to get them all out of the ground before it's just too cold to have my hands in the dirt. So I'll add these to my previous harvests that I have in my utility closet. And here's those tomatoes I spoke about, and yes, a lot of green ones. They will turn red. And my last harvest of herbs. And running out of room to hang things, so anywhere is fair game. Still picking away at the leeks, the parsnips, the carrots. There's a bit more out in the garden. And lovely friends. One gave me some of her windfall and apples. She knows I like to make scrap uh, apple scrap vinegar. And another friend is far away and said to go pick his tree. So I did.
three jars so far of the apple scrap vinegar. And I'll end with my squash harvest, my joy. I can't say they're generous to me. I can't say they're easy to grow for me. But the anticipation of what could be. And I spend so much time, well, we spend so much time together, the squash and I. You know, we, we've got the months of watering them, grow them from seedlings. Once we see what we've got, of course, then it's the months of curing and storing them for, oh, it's just the joys of growing winter squash. I know, you're thinking this crazy lady is sniffing glue because those are the tiniest squash ever. But hey, I've got 10 and they're beautiful. And well, they're just my friends. Have a wonderful week.